Michelle from Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer, and today we're here with David Morgan. Hello. How are you today? Very well, thank you. How are you? Brilliant. So this is early, though. You've got me up. It's early. Is yes. this the first thing you've done today? Yeah, uh, I was in bed 50 minutes ago. Oh my god, brilliant. Well, thank you for making it. Oh, it's alright. I'm excited. <laughs> so tell us about your show. Uh, it's called Pretty. Uh, it's about uh, kind of attractiveness and attraction and how we get to kind of fall for people and how sometimes that can be in awkward situations. And it's about not accidentally sending pictures of your private stuff to other people. Oh, has that happened to you? Uh, not to me. Oh, that's good. Uh, not to me. <laughs> but it has happened to lots of my friends, and they have uh, <laughs> tricks and devices in order to stop it now, which is quite fun. So, how yeah, does, it's a how does trick. that accidentally happen? You'd be surprised. Because you can't really sort of. Oh, I accidentally fell and took a photo of it. <laughs> oh, no, no, taking the photo, that's not accidental. Oh, right, okay, yeah, it's yeah. It's the yeah. sending of it. Oh, right, okay. The wrong person cool. that can happen. Never so, not of a sound mind, and you just. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so, have you performed at the finish before, the end of the uh, Yeah, this is my uh, second full hour and my third fringe. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, so what do you love about performing at the fringe? It's incredible. It's like comedy come summer camp. Uh, you don't get to. Because, uh, like, comedians kind of run around the country all year, you don't get to see anyone. And then uh, you're kind of all in one place at one time, and it's kind of wonderful to get to see everyone you don't see one of, uh, every day, which is wonderful. And there's like plays here and stuff. So sometimes, if I'm feeling the need for a nap, I'll go see those. <laughs> uh, no, it's really good. I just love the creativity. I mean, everything about Edinburgh is ridiculous. Everything. It, yeah. it doesn't make any sense why it's here, why it's this long, why we do it, but it's just brilliant. It's brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. So I hear that you almost didn't do comedy. Yeah, no, I was a, I was, um, a, I was a Photoshop artist. I made people look artificially prettier. Uh, I was just part. Which is quite, yeah. Yeah, that's quite similar. So I, yeah, I, I kind of fell into comedy after a breakup. Um, uh -huh. and, uh, yeah, it was great. So what, what was it that, what, that, what was it that made you want to do comedy specifically? Um, I just like performing. Well, I always loved it. I always loved comedy, but I, I kind of didn't realise it was a thing that you could do. Like yeah. I just. It kind of I stumbled across that. Like I went to the loads of comedy when I was little, and I watched comedy on telly. And uh, my ex-boyfriend even worked at the Glee Club in Birmingham, and I go and watch stuff there. But I just never realised that those people were getting paid. Like, it just didn't. It never kind of clicked. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I did a for the Leicester Dave's Leicester Comedy Festival, which is amazing. Did a, a workshop uh, um, kind of thing that I joined in with, and I was just kind of make friends. And I kind of fell in love with it, and I started doing it. I did it more and more. People started giving me money, and I went like, okay, this is a thing now. And uh, that's how. Right. So, is there a lot of audience interaction in your show? I or? chat to everyone, uh, which some people are scared about, but I, I'm lovely, I'm quite nice. I don't, I don't really think it's anyone. And the kind of people that come and see my show generally are nice people. So, uh, I just kind of have a little chat and we'll become friends by the end. And uh, I, I'm obsessed with people. I kind of, people watch all the time, which is another reason why I'm really brilliant. Uh, and it's, it's like everyone's a human zoo, so yeah. uh, I like to chat with them and so find out something about them. I get a great story. So, who's yeah. your sort of target audience? God, um, nice people. <laughs> That's generally it. Like I have, I had, I haven't had any horrible people in, but I did do spank yes. on Friday, which was uh, full of a word I can't use at four in the morning. Uh, and so I think I got all of my mean out. Like I was like, Rah! people I love it. Did you love it? Pow, 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 pow. Yeah, and that became a really bitchy gay. <laughs> it was really horrible, but it was kind of fun. It was quite fun to do that. I don't get to do it very often, so uh, it was a good night. Really, yeah. Yeah. It was really good, yeah. It was a really horrible boy in the front row, but it was quite attractive, so it's kind of that thing where you're like, oh, I love you, but I also want to punch you in the face. It's like, oh. Brilliant. So, how do you come up with your material for your shows? Uh, through conversations, things that happen, things that happen to other people. Uh, most of my material tends to be about stories, so it's kind of very much quite narcissistic, but it's quite from me, so it's kind of how it's my kind of take on the world, plus yeah. my friends and family and stuff. And, then with jokes put in. Yeah. Sometimes I may exaggerate slightly. <laughs> so after the fringe, what have you got planned for sort of next year ahead? It's not a question I want to do. Oh, it's alright. Oh, right. uh, carry on, do more gigging. Uh, hopefully this show will do something else. Um, and then get ready for Edinburgh 2014. <laughs> So uh, tell us where and when your show is on. Uh, my show is called Pretty. It's on at 7 p.m. at Underbelly Bristow Square. Brilliant. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. No, it's been lovely. This is a wonderful breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I was Michelle. You've been watching Waffle TV. Yeah, good.